This week we have a very special guest, Colin Slade, joining us on the man behind the jersey. Colin, welcome mate. It's G'day, good Andy. to have you along buddy. Uh, awesome to be here Andy. Hey, going here we are in Hamilton, uh, round, uh, second round. Um, it's pretty exciting, good buzz around town as well here. Are you enjoying it? How are you feeling it? Yeah, well unfortunately the, the weather hasn't turned it on for us, but um, you know, I'm really looking forward to getting to see everything I can see in Hamilton and, um, during the week. Cool. Uh, mate, we want this to be a bit of a fun, so we'll just have a bit of a chat eh, and find out a bit about a bit about you and, and you growing up and stuff. And I want to start with this one. Um, nicknames, mate. What do you got for me? <laughs> um, as you know, Andy, I actually don't have uh, a lot of nicknames. They, they tend to just revolve my, around my name, whether it's Slady or, or Slado. Um, yeah, I don't know. Andy, you got any thoughts about anything? Well, yeah, well, I mean, the, the one, the obvious one that you've been telling all the boys to call you, with, trying to nickname the new okay. stadium down, down, uh, down south is uh, the Sladium. It's got a nice ring to it. And, uh, I can see why you've, uh, you're trying to push for that. I think it's, uh, I think it's quite cool. Um, As you know, Andy Ellis does talk a little bit of, uh, well, not so much rubbish, but he does exaggerate a few stories. Well, I appreciate that, but this is uh, my show, so um, if you can just answer the questions, it'd be great. But apart from me, did you have any other heroes sort of growing up? Yeah, I did, mate. Um, you know, obviously it's been documented that I, I um, based, based a bit of my game on Andrew Mertens. used to love watching him when I grew up, and... Uh, and I, and I know for you it was Justin Marshall, and I remember you coming over, and and we used to play, uh, we used to play in the backyard, and, and you used to be Marshall, and I used to be Mertens, and we used to practice our moves. What about outside of rugby? Um, people you looked up to, or heroes, other sports, or um, I always remember you're a big Batman fan when you started high school. Are you, is that something you still? Yeah, I used to, to really get into Conan, Conan the Adventurer, <laughs> the warrior without fear. Um, you know the way he'd sort of just stare into the face of danger, and uh, you know really thrive on a challenge and. Colin's one of those guys that, uh, if we're in the team and playing uh, table tennis or whatever, he's like the champion at that, or picks up a basketball and spins it around on his fingers for like two minutes, just laughs about it, wins all the pool games. He's just that sort of guy, pretty talented sportsman, mate. So, Cheers, um, mate. Coffee's on me. Coffee's it's on not me. like me to say something nice today, but there you go. We've got to take a body can around, Andy. It's good. <laughs> music. Tell me a little bit about uh, the type of music that you listen to. Uh, <clears throat> Yeah, so um, I, I like anything, to be honest, Andy. Uh, you know, I might be sort of the white skin colour and that sort of stuff, but I do enjoy my, you know, hip-hop music and that sort of thing. And Your brown music, is that what you are going to say? Yeah, but I, can't, I don't know if I can say that. I, I wouldn't go so far as to say that I enjoy the rap, more just the hip-hop, the dance sort of music, and um, anything that gets the vibe up. Nice. Um, and, but not really into the, to the hard-out white trash stuff. Um, um, yeah, I like the Metallica and that sort of stuff. You know, I seem to stay away from that because sort of angry white boys and I'm quite a... Um, it surprises sort of me because I've seen you in that leather jacket. Yeah, but that's from a different angle, Andy. I'm not really my anger side, that's more of my dress side. Oh, I, right. mean, I remember you actually rocked up on one one day and um, with your highlighted hair and took a bit of inspiration from that. What about game day music? Is, do you have a do you have like a set playlist that you listen to or you you still listening to Celine or...? Yeah, yeah, that and um, Hayley Westerner is actually quite a good one of mine as well. Um, I find that if you can actually become one at peace um, before a game and... Does anyone really scare you in the team? Does you tiptoe around? Uh, depends. Sort of depends. Um, you sort of try and pick up a vibe off someone and, and if Thorny hasn't slept too well, you, you, you try to stay away and straight away you can tell, you know, he's a little bit angry. He might, he might say good morning, he might just grunt back at you so you know that he's had a bad sleep and you might just stay away from him for a few hours. But um, in saying that, you know, when he's in a good mood, he's one of the best guys to be around. So. Um, you just got to read the read the moment, I think. And thanks. Stay tuned, and we'll see you next week for the man behind the jersey. Stay classy, New Zealand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, it's it's not just New Zealand, is it? It's all